Well, hello, traders and investors. I'm Ellie Little. This is your daily Neo TA wrap. We take a look at these markets and we do it from a neoclassical perspective. I want to stop there on the intro and say, okay, we're not doing the daily report anymore. You know, after about six, seven years of doing this each and every day, um, there's just other things that one needs to turn their attention to. And so that's what we've done. But uh, occasionally I'll put out a video. Uh, I've done that uh, since the daily report, and usually a two minute trade video. Uh, but we're going to change this daily report to a periodic report where every now and then, when circumstances make sense, we'll take a little bit of time and, and share our ideals on what's happening uh, in these markets. And we choose today to do that because there is a, um, a bit of a, uh, a change taking place here in the markets. And I want to point it out to you. You've got a, uh, a bearish engulfing, right? You've got some volume build up. All of this after another extended move. And you actually have uh, some sort of a small test failure up here off this bar on the prior bar. And if you look at the volumes, you can see less volume. So. Sellers look to be trying to take control of this market after another one of those nice, magnificent moves higher. Now, one thing that should be pointed out here is that this market is quite extended on these time frames, uh, beyond extended, and that's a result of what the Fed and the, the, the central bankers around the world have done. So another long, extended move without any kind of retrace uh, of significance and that sets up the possibility of something larger to the downside and speaking of that you know even though you got these small little signals taking place on the S&P the big signals are taking place elsewhere in the Nasdaq the high flyers where you've already had an extended move that now is meeting its fate or at least it appears to be you've got a bullish retest regenerate here you're coming into it with significant volume uh, compared to both the breakout and compared to the swing point high itself. That suggests this thing's going to probably get lower. The next bar of significance is here. That's the tops. That's the bottoms. That's where I would be focused uh, probably on the bottom side of that area uh, if I were trying to trade this particular instrument or in general if I was simply looking for where this market's going to try and turn. Now I could give you a lot more information. Uh, we could take a look at other things, uh, but th I think that gives you a sense of where things are. And to give you an idea of a trade, if you just take that same index, narrow it down to the Qs, and just take a look at how this one's trying to come back. Here's your bullish breakout, which is now the retest regenerate. Big bar here bottom of the big bar there into the bullish retest regenerate after way more than six bars. If it comes back into here, folks, that's going to be a nice buy area. That's it for today. We'll come back when the circumstances dictate. Have a great one. See you next time.